Troop 17 here at First Presbyterian Church of Burlington. What a year it's been. We're coming up on a year of near isolation, a year of distancing, a year of remote meetings. More importantly, a year of learning new ways to do things we have always taken for granted. For all the things we have overcome, our children have had to do the same and sometimes more. They have learned how to learn through a computer. They have done without sports. They have been able to spend much, they have not been able to spend much, if any time, in the physical presence of their friends. The physical separation has affected us all. Scouting was just as impacted as anything else. At the onset of the pandemic, we tried to move meetings to a virtual setting. Thinking safer at home, we were able to continue meetings as a unit and find new ways to continue advancement. As we were, we were also impacted through the cancellation of some campouts. These outdoor trips are where the boys are able to be themselves and step up to learn and earn some independence. When looking forward to our summer camp plans, even these were canceled in the name of safety for our boys and their families. Looking at a semester of being distant and not a lot of progress, we knew we had to come up with something. After meeting and reviewing available options, we were able to start finding opportunities to get closer to normal while keeping safety as an integral part of the plans. In replacement of our summer camp plans, we put together an outing to a more remote area that provided us with an outdoor space that allowed us to take safety precautions and continue teaching and learning life skills that will help these boys prepare for, prepare for the future. Since our summer outing, we've been biking, backpacking, and working on outdoor skills, again, taking appropriate measures to keep the boys safe. The leaders have been seen, the leaders have even seen some excitement and energy return to the boys. Returning to the school year, we began discussing how to meet in person again for our troop meetings. Thanks to the partnership with the church and guidance from our reentry task force, we were able to find a safe way to start meeting in person again. While it's still different than our traditional indoor meetings, meeting in the parking lot has been really beneficial to the boys by breaking them away from the computer screens and providing some outdoor time in the physical presence of their friends. In 2020, scouting in Alamance District saw a 40% drop in membership. A similar trend in membership has also been seen nationwide. By using the scouting methods of outdoors and advancement, the troop and PAC have been able to impact the lives of 70 boys. The PAC promoted eight boys to the troop this year after they earned their Arrow of Light, the highest award earned in Cub Scouts. The troop awarded 59 merit badges and advanced the boys 11 ranks toward the Eagle Award. These numbers helped the PAC and the troop achieve Journey to Excellence Gold status in 2020, an award only earned by five PACs and four troops in the district last year. Leaders in the, the leaders in Troop 17 also work with two very dedicated young men to help them achieve the rank of Eagle, scouting's highest honor. I would like to personally commend Samuel Gailey and Gavin Blakeney on their tireless efforts and perseverance to complete their trail even in these trying times. Congratulations to you both. In closing, there are a few people I would like to thank. First off, I'd like to say thank you to John Maynard, Brent Simpson, Chris Solari, and Chad Coble for their assistance with the troop. Next, I would like to thank the parents of our boys for their continued support through these tough times. Finally, I would like to thank the congregation and the church for your support to this great program throughout the last year. On behalf of both PAC and Troop 17, thank you.